Good morning, YouTubers. I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. Once again, there has been an earthquake, an early morning earthquake along the Nebraska-Kansas border. Uh, USGS is saying it was a uh, 3.6. Nine people sent in reports saying they did in fact feel this earthquake to USGS. Did you feel it website? Right there across the center almost is the state line. So here's the location. Superior. Once again, yep, Superior. Um, there was one report there. Intensity level 2. Weber. Intensity level 3. One report, one report for Burr Oaks, intensity level three, and another three reports from Superior, uh, intensity level three. Now, intensity level three means it was felt noticeably indoors, but not always recognized as an earthquake. Uh, they felt the vibration and, or maybe heard a boom and wondered what the heck it was. Maybe you were sitting in your automobile and it was sitting. And you notice the uh, auto might have been rocking. Vibration like a passing truck. This earthquake occurred at 7.04 a.m. Here's the location. There's the state line for Kansas and Nebraska. Uh, yep, 3.6. Now on the 17th, almost at the same time, there was a magnitude 3.9. I would have put it as a magnitude 4.0. Now, originally, USGS had it as a magnitude 3.9. USGS revised it to a magnitude 3.7. 149 people said they felt that earthquake. And that was felt, uh, let's see, as far as, uh, what do we got up over here? Columbus, there in Nebraska. Um, looks like Fremont. What we got here? Omaha, Nebraska. And south to Leavenworth. Or southeast. And then we got uh, Enterprise. And then southwest as uh, Quinter. Here's an image of today's earthquake. Um, I get a magnitude 3.70. This is the spectrogram, and I'll show you the uh, earthquake signature, and let's pull that. Yep, tectonic and movement. Now, this earthquake is very close to the uh, rift system, the mid-continent rift system. Here's the rift system. We got the Newman uh, Ridge. Over here is the uh, earthquakes right on the border, and then we'll come farther down. This is the Humboldt Fault Zone, yeah, drawn out in red, and then the uh, rift system drawn out in yellow. The Mid-Continent Rift System is a 1,200-mile-long geological rift in the center of the North American continent. It formed when the continent's core, the North American Craton, began to split apart um, about 1.1 billion years ago. The rift failed, meaning it failed to continue to split the country apart, uh, leaving behind thick layers of rock that are exposed in the northern reaches, but buried beneath later size, um, sedimentary formations. A lot of sediment. And you might find this interesting, talking um, so much about the New Madrid fault zone because the uh, rift's eastern arm, south to central lower Michigan and possibly to Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Alabama, runs from Lake Superior southwest through portions of Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, and Nebraska to northeastern Kansas and possibly into Oklahoma. I have talked about how the New Madrid fault system um, has been having a lot more activity lately. Yeah, over here to the uh, right, to the east. And we've been seeing a lot more earthquakes uh, since our magnetic field has been weakening. There is an area 
off the coast of the eastern coast of the United States uh, where there is great weakening of the Earth's magnetic field not just the uh, South American anomaly but we now got an area off the east coast so anyways did you feel this earthquake my poor kitties got sick when they were eating their morning breakfast maybe they had vertigo what do you think a lot of people report feeling vertigo uh, during earthquakes I know it sounds a little far-fetched but yeah animals often know earthquakes and are more sensitive to them than what we are please put those comments down below thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing thank you very much for your support please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless y'all.